Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Trust your gut, don't overthink it, and allow yourself a little room to play. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Trust your gut, don't overthink it, and allow yourself a little room to play. Boeing had two demonstrators, the X-32A and the X-32B. Both flew in 2000 and 2000 and won on over 140 test flights. They showed off their speed at MACJ 1.6 in-flight refueling ability, and side weapons bay operations that could hold six air-to-air -air missiles. The X-32 originally had a delta wing, but this design was dropped later for a planned conventional wing design for the final F-32, although the new wing model only existed on paper and in mock-ups. The need to change wing designs later hurt the Boeing demonstrators in the competition. There were also improvements to the nose design and cockpit canopy. The X-32B was adept at short takeoff and vertical landing, while the X-32A was able to do conventional takeoff and landing and show attributes of carrier approach flights for the Navy. The prototypes had a chin inlet to improve their speed. Chin inlets also give more air to the turbine, which leads to better maneuverability at high angles of attack. The X-32 prototypes showed the Department of Defense early on and that the Boeing model was ready to go and would likely be easier to produce with a less complex design. Alternatively, the single Lockheed Martin demonstrator could do both conventional takeoff and landing and vertical takeoff and landing. This was an important requirement for the competition between Boeing and Lockheed Martin. Boeing promised that the final F-32 would be capable of doing both, but the Lockheed Martin X-35 had the advantage of already having the dual takeoff and landing capability. The X-32A and X-32B were heavy at 50,000 pounds, and there were concerns in the DoD that it would not have the same amount of thrust as the X-35. Boeing was also late to the game when it came to the wing design. Using two prototypes was also less efficient since the X-35 just had one demonstrator. Ultimately, Boeing lost the competition. It notably did not sue the DoD for unfair competition or put up much of a fight about the decision. The defense contractor later said that it used the research and development from the X-32A and X-32B to help the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet program and stealth attributes assisted in devising the X-45A unmanned combat air vehicle demonstrator concept.